Hello, this is Professor Mark Higdon. This video is for FM 341, and this video will show you how to work with some pre-existing drawn sketches from Snap Fashion. On our uh, course shell, I have a folder in Learning Module 3, which will have a repository of some pre-drawn sketches that are created by a company called Snap Fashion. There is a workshop handout that's a PDF file that you can certainly take a look at, um, but this video will hopefully do a shortcut uh, to streamline the process. In this folder here, marked Snap Fashion Sketches, there are numerous files which are zip files, and when you open them up, they will have uh, some Snap Fashion Sketches that you can work with. And depending on the item that you're possibly looking for, um, you should be able to hopefully find some files that you can use as a reference. Um, the Illustrator files that I've created have numerous garments on these files, and they're all Illustrator files. Some of them are front views, some of them are front view, back views. Um, but the fashion industry will oftentimes subscribe to this service to help them as they're creating a lot of different uh, silhouette styles so that you don't have to draw everything by hand. So if I was going to try to create the style silhouette sketch for this denim shirt, uh, you could certainly go ahead and can draw it from scratch, but you can also look at the pre-drawn sketches in snap fashion. So if I wanted to, I could work with this sketch here and you could simply copy it, do a Command C, and then do a Command V or Control V to paste it into the file where you're working. And it will come in as a closed sketch. So uh, all the pieces are joined, they're grouped, and the various shapes are closed. So you can work with them, you can modify them. Um, when I left click on this with the selection tool, you can see that the various pieces are all grouped. So if I go to Object Ungroup, click off it, click on it again, I can start to take these sketches apart. Uh, so if I was trying to create this denim shirt here, I would need to add a pocket, and I would need to modify the collar, because you can see here this is much more pointed, and this is rounded. So you may have to ungroup this a couple of times to get to the section that you want. There's my collar. So with this collar, uh, if I deselect it, click on the background, go to the direct selection tool, I can actually click on the anchor point and I can use the, my direct selection tool to reduce the curve by left clicking and dragging the little handles and that will make it a pointed line again which is much closer to the sketch in terms of what I'm looking for. So if you left click directly with that direct selection tool on the anchor point and left click and drag on the individual handles, you can reduce the curve and make it much more pointed. Um, then I can move it back with the selection tool back on top of the shirt. And if I look at the point on this collar, it's quite a bit shorter, so I can, with the direct selection tool again, actually reduce it in size. Then I can bring the sleeves back connected with the front of the shirt. I can group the entire thing again, the sketch, object group. Can make it a little bit larger. Remember, if you hold down the shift key when you're using the selection tool to grab the corner, left click and drag, you'll make the sketch start larger and conform the proportions so you don't change the width and height. To create the back view, if you hold down the option key with the sketch selection selected, you can left click and drag and make a copy. Um, and normally for the back view, it would be reversed. So with the back view, then I'll modify and take off the collar. 
and the plaque up at the buttons. I can also do a right click on my mouse, do a transform and reflect. And if you have vertical checked and with the preview, you can actually see how it's going to reflect. You can click OK and it will reflect it for you. Then if I ungroup this, I can take the collar off. In terms of the placket with the buttons, I would need that for the back view, so I can do another object ungroup. I click and drag and take that away. If I zoom in, with the white arrow direct selection tool, I can smooth off the bottom of the back. Then in terms of the collar, I can actually ungroup this. You may have to do it a couple of times. Then you can take off each collar. can bring back the back of the collar and position it as to where it would be. It's a little small compared to the shirt. So again, if I hold down the shift key, left click and drag, I can make it larger. So these are great in that, you know, you can regroup them. Anything that you don't want, you can left click on with the selection tool, hit delete. And these are great sketches because when we get to the next assignment three, you can actually click on these silhouettes and you'll be able to fill them with color once you develop your seasonal color palette. So they work great. So there's a wide range, you know, that you can certainly work with. Um, this one, I could actually copy this and bring that in for the pocket. I could certainly draw the pocket myself if I wanted to. Um, but if I wanted to use this pocket on the sketch, I ungroup this. I can actually drag that pocket directly to the shirt where I want it to be. And I would be able to color that as well. Okay, um, if you look at the pocket on the shirt, there is some top stitching along the top. So I could certainly go in with the pen tool and open up the stroke window, dash the line here, do a 6.6 .6 gap, And then I could do a broken line top stitching right there. Um, if I make the dash smaller, three and three for the gap and the dash, that will also make the top stitching a little bit smaller. And this I can actually select and hit delete and make that go away. Okay, so I hope this has helped. Um, as I mentioned, you know, there's a many different files within. There's also some menswear that you can work with. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always email me at mark underscore Higdon at fitnyc.edu. Thank you.